Hey guys, so almost all of my videos start with if you're interested in moving to the UK or do you want to move to the UK or you are going to move to the UK because let's be very honest, that's what this channel is all about, moving to the UK. But the undeniable truth is that if you want to move to the UK, you need a visa and you need to either get a student visa or a work visa so that you can move to the UK, right? So today's video is especially important for working professionals and for students and let me tell you why. If you are a working professional, it's especially important to know which professions are in demand so that you know what your chances are and apart from that so that you also know what to consider in case you're considering making a switch in your career. If you're a student, it's especially important for you to understand what the demand in the market is like so that you can pick the courses that you want to do extremely wisely to increase your chances of getting a job in the UK. Now that being said, let's dive right in. Well, this might come as a bit of a surprise, but the UK desperately needs delivery drivers. 4,002 of them to be 4,200 of them to be precise, because those are the number of job openings available for delivery drivers in the UK market. But let me tell you why. I think a lot of this has to do with Brexit, because I remember when we moved to the UK about seven months ago. Uh, IKEA had very clearly mentioned on its website that a lot of mattresses were out of stock and they didn't anticipate delivery coming in quickly simply because there were no trucks and no delivery drivers to come and deliver the new mattresses and a lot of their other products like that. So since Brexit has happened, the UK has been facing a severe shortage of delivery drivers over here, which means there's a huge number of openings for those same roles. The starting salary is just over 20,000 and the role requires reviewing deliveries, loading and unloading vans, providing customers with service support. Which of the top companies looking to hire delivery drivers in the UK right now? Like I said, there's a really high demand and some of the top companies hiring include Asda, Able & Co, DFS, Just Eat and Amazon. Now, if you are a project manager, boy, are you in luck because there are about 22,000 job openings for project managers in the UK. Yeah, I said 22,000. The average base salary is about 43,000 and as a project manager, you'd need to plan, organize, control, and deliver a project on time within the budget and within the scope set out at the start. The top companies hiring a project manager include Mace, Sagenta, GSK, the AA, and Zero. Now, a lot of you might be wondering how you can get jobs as project managers. Well, it usually requires a business degree, but in some cases, you can start off as an assistant and keep working your way up. If you want to work as a project manager in a field that's not remotely related to what you're doing right now, you will probably require a postgraduate degree. If you like working in retail, the good news is that the UK has 4,500 job openings for store managers out here. Well, the even better news is that you usually don't require a degree for this role. Uh, most people who do work in this profession start off at the bottom and work their way up. But if you have really good communication skills and really good delegation skills, you can still apply even if you do not have a career in working in retail and you never know, you might just get lucky. The average base salary for a store manager is 29,000 and some of the top companies looking to hire include EE, The Furniture Store, Morrison Supermarket, The Body Shop, Costa Coffee and Starbucks. As a part of your job, you would have to run the day-to-day -day operations of the store, manage the staff, run promotional campaigns and the likes. But before I move ahead, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's almost always the smaller YouTubers who need your help. And to be very honest, if I've even gotten to where I am today, it's honestly because of you. So thank you so much for all of your support. And if you haven't hit the bell icon for notifications, do it now. Now, this one will not come as a surprise, but the UK requires software engineers. Now, not only does it have a huge number of openings, it has 11,800 openings to be precise, but it also comes with a higher starting salary. The average base pay for software engineers in the UK is 55,000. Some of the top companies looking to hire software engineers are Directline Group, National Grid, Cinch Cars, Betway Groups, and Nando's. Now, perhaps you like interacting with people, or maybe you're a student looking to make a little extra cash on the side. Well, that's good news because there's a huge number of openings for customer assistance in the UK. With 5,900 job openings and a starting base salary of 16,000, a customer assistant role is great if you don't have a strong educational background. It though does help if you've had some previous retail experience. Some of the top companies hiring for a customer assistant include the co-op, Wix, Lloyd Banking, Specsavers, Tesco and Lidl. 
Now, if the role you're interested in hasn't popped up yet, don't worry, we've got one more. But apart from that, if the role you're interested in doesn't pop up in today's video, don't be too stressed about it because I will make more. If you're interested in a specific role and want to know more about it, you can just leave me a comment below and I will do my best to include it in the next videos. Now, from public health managers to ward clerks, healthcare professionals are some of the most demanded professionals in the UK. Not surprising, right? Depending on your level of training, you can earn as much as £40,000 per year as a nurse in the UK. Most practicing nurses require an associate degree or an ASN or a BSc in nursing. But before becoming a registered nurse, it's also necessary to pass the NCLEX or the National Council of Licensure Examination. Now, if you're looking at who's hiring, both public and private hospitals need nurses means that you can look for vacancies within the NHS or even private healthcare firms. So those are the six ones we were covering today, but do not be stressed because obviously the UK requires more than just six types of professionals in the UK, right? I mean, there's a huge, huge number of job openings over here and a lot of professions that are in demand, which we will get to in future videos. But for now, if you'd like to know which companies are the biggest sponsors in the UK, because in all honesty, if I were you, I'd be focusing all of my attention on getting a job with them. If you'd like to know those companies, watch this video.